get some relief, but those that don't either go into debt or ignore what they need altogether. That was the case for a Lake Geneva man who has had such dental trouble over the years that at times he admits to pulling out his own teeth. Now he's found an avenue to help get the dental work he needs without spiraling him into debt, and he's crossing the border to do it. But for me right now, $60,000. That's how much Jesse Hughes estimates a dentist would charge to fix his teeth. My mom always said to take care of teeth, your clackers are going to fall out, and um, she was right. You know. The 48-year-old admits there was some neglect over the years. Like many, his employers rarely offered insurance. And as years progressed, uh, medical insurance and dental insurance became less and less available to me, um, whether employers didn't offer it or whether I didn't just have it. The thought of getting snowed by dental bills to fix problems along the way didn't sit well, and his teeth got worse. It became hard for me to eat, and uh, thus I had to chew with my front of my teeth. I've been doing a lot of, you know, eating with my front teeth, and it's became to war they're wearing down dramatically. In the last year, they've really wore down. They're getting uh, pretty painful. They're getting pretty ugly, and uh, and. This opportunity came by to do something about him, and I'm taking advantage of it now. Now Hughes is paying the price, but not as much as you might think. He's part of a growing number of people getting medical services in foreign countries. It's called medical tourism, and this is a look inside. Jesse taking a flip cam along to his procedure in Central America, all made possible by Tim and Vicki Morales. That's a good way to do it. The Moraleses started Costa Rican medical care out of Lake Geneva three years ago. In the last nine months, they've set up trips to Costa Rica for patients like Hughes to get what they call quality medical procedures at discounted prices. In some cases, patients are saving 30 to 70 percent. Well, of course, it all has to do with whatever the procedure is. A colonoscopy, for an example, could be priced anywhere from three to 6000 throughout the United States. Uh, that can be done for $600. As for liability related to these procedures, there isn't medical malpractice insurance in Costa Rica. Tim Morales says you can purchase a policy to protect yourself prior to your trip. We talked with leaders at the Department of Consumer Protection and Department of Health Services. Both say they are not involved in regulating medical tourism and don't have a stance on it. We also talked with the president of a nonprofit group called ProMed. ProMed represents only those clinics and hospitals meeting standards they approve for international patients. They, they obviously know that an international, let's say, a U.S. patient will be more attracted if the hospital in Costa Rica is accredited under the same standard that the clinic that you're used to visit in, uh, in Lake Geneva, for example. So obviously uh, accreditations are fields of approval that they have an element that is patient security. Hughes spent his second day in Costa Rica in a dental chair. Doctors removing his teeth to make room for the temporaries they'll put in place until his new teeth are ready. The rest of the 10-day trip, a sunset vacation to recover. All of it, they say, is researched. The Morales has spent the first two years in business vetting the hospitals and doctors in Costa Rica. JCI goes around the world and accredits hospitals uh, to standards to make sure that they are up to speed on everything. The same thing was with the doctors and clinics. We also make sure that they're uh, work to American standards. They utilize two hospitals in San Jose and now book trips for anything from breast implants and liposuction to hip replacements, heart surgeries, and in Hughes' case, full mouth restoration. Hughes will still pay $17,500 for six implants and permanent dentures using the same materials doctors in the United States work with. The quality of life I have right now is embarrassing. It's uh, it's it's difficult. It's it's painful at times, um, and when I look at my teeth, and it, it sometimes it, it it takes me back and like it almost uh, scares me. Hughes just returned from his trip. He's doing well and will return in four months to have his permanent teeth put in. We plan to check in with him as his next procedure approaches. We also checked with several insurance companies to see whether they're considering coverage of medical tourism procedures. They did not return our call.